Well, I've, I've walked in 25 countries. I've walked around the United Kingdom and Northumberland was without doubt number one. And what is great about it as well is to see the ambition which the county council have now for developing this uh, really hidden paradise uh, for its full benefit and full tourism potential. So I'm very excited to be part of that. I'm Michael Bates, I'm a member of the House of Lords. Right, and you're famous for the walks that you've done. I, I think I read somewhere you, you've walked 9,000 miles or possibly more than that for charity. Can you tell us actually how much money you've raised in, in your walking career? It's 8,828 miles as of the moment, but we're going to clock up some more uh, today in Northumberland. And uh, with my wife, we've raised some £917,000 for charities, particularly focused on children affected through conflict. Yeah, I know, that's, that's absolutely amazing. And um, I know you've been to Northumberland as a, as a very regular visitor, and we're just absolutely delighted that you've agreed to be an ambassador for our great county of Northumberland. Um, can you just sort of tell us in a few words what you feel is different and what is really great about Northumberland as a county? Well, firstly, for me, it's a huge honour uh, to, to have this uh, role because any uh, excuse to come walking in Northumberland uh, is, uh, is, is an excuse I intend to seize uh, with full enthusiasm. Because for me, all of this walking is not something I've been doing all my life, Peter. It's something which uh, only started 10 years ago. And it started when I was challenged by some young, young people in Newcastle to undertake a walk for their charity from Holy Island uh, to Durham. So before that, I'd, I'd hardly walked more than 10 miles. Uh, but since then, over the past 10 years, we've walked in 25 countries and nearly 9,000 miles. So this is where, very much where it began. And when I'm walking in Northumberland, apart from the, the natural resonance with the feeling of being home, uh, it is the sense of history. It's the friendliness. And it's the unspoiled nature of that beautiful coastline. Uh, that you can uh, walk down, especially at a time uh, like this. So if you want space, open air, friendliness, great food and hospitality, then I feel Northumberland's got so much to offer.